Again, thank you all for being here. Um, I'm really excited to kick this initiative off. And you guys are gonna take so much away from this conference. To those of you that are building businesses, this is just the beginning for you. There are so many multi-million dollar, billion dollar companies that are gonna come out of what we're building. And this is not it. I have a lot. God has taken me down this path and there's so much more in store. So much more in store. Um, but before I head off stage, I want to welcome Mr. Jay Morrison, <laughs> who is helping us build this legacy. He's the founder of the Legacy Center. He's been so supportive. And I just want to give him his flowers and let him introduce himself. So welcome you all. Thank you for being here. At 17 years old in Somerville, New Jersey, when doctors came in and out five times, and my mom said something, spoke to her and said, get up, your son's going to impact patients. Before I was born, I survived attempted birth. I stand before you today as someone that grew up on welfare, grew up on WIC, grew up in Section 8, grew up with a father that served 13 years in prison, a father that left at three months old, a father that was a heroin addict who abused in my home, dropped out of high school at 16 years old, went to alternative program to graduate, Someone that faced three years of life in prison at 18 years old on Rikers Island. I stand before you today as someone who's a three time felon by 21 years old, who's at two and a half years in prison. I stand before you today as someone that spent 10 years in the streets until he got his head wrapped around his talent, his gifts, and a calling God had on his life. So you sit in a building that we co founded under the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, which is our real estate fund that has over 15,000 partners from 22 countries. The largest real estate crowdfund in the black owned real estate crowdfund in the history of the world. Yeah. Glory to my God. Just, 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 just keep, keep going. going. I've been a teenage dad, a bankruptcy, a divorcee, all of that in my one real life. It does not matter what life's going to throw at you. I had life-saving surgery in 2022 and 2020. I literally was digesting into a colostomy bag. My daughter had five brain surgeries. We went through an a SEC and FBI investigation around my real estate fund to no findings, by the way. My point is, as you go out of entrepreneurship, as you go out of business, as you go out of life, you don't know what life is going to throw at you. But just, just keep, keep going. Right. That's entrepreneurship. You only fail when you stop. As long as you just keep going, no matter what life throws at you, you can defy those odds. So we're having, we're hosting and launching Black and Ecom today, the inaugural. The first from a vision of seed that was planted in Fink Tiffany's head and heart. And she nurtured that seed. And for as long as time remains, there will always be seed, time, and harvest. You guys are at the beginning of the harvest of the special. Everyone say world. World. Why? Why? When? The world is your customers now. Things have changed. Black and Econ is giving an opportunity for all of us and the resources we need to be successful in this space. Outside of being the founder of the largest black owned real estate crowd in the history of this country, I've also been in Econ since 2012. I started the Jay Morris Academy, where we digitally sold online services coaching, training, and digital courses. I started in my garage in Edison, New Jersey, while living in my house in foreclosure. From then, we launched and built a $10 million company from my garage, where my seven victim was repoed in foreclosure. And built a $10 million company acknowledged twice by the Inc. 5000 as one of the fastest growing companies in the country. Glory to my father. But I learned then the power of the World Wide Web. 
My customers were no longer geographically constrained. Everyone in the world now could be my customer. This Tulsa real estate fund, our 15,000 partners, was a real estate fund where we sold shares of our company online, e-com. We launched a real estate crowdfund that allowed people in 22 countries to participate as owners of our company. All those names you see on the wall in the back and the names you walk through those walls, those are all our partners. 15,000 families and small businesses. All through econ. So whatever your idea is, whatever your opportunity is, you can bring it to life if you just keep going and you leverage the World Wide Web. Before I leave you in our kickoff, I'm a teacher at heart. I'm a servant teacher. I have to give you the code to a fundable e-com business. The code is chase. We don't chase money, the money chases us. The C in chase is cash flow. Everybody say cash flow. Cash flow. Send your chest, cash flow. Cash flow. In order to be a fundable business, at the highest level, banks and lending institutions want to see your cash flow. You've got to have some kind of revenue coming in, or at least projected cash flow of revenue coming in. That's the lifeblood of a business. But second to cash flow, everyone, say honest accounting. Honest accounting. That's the H and J's. Too many entrepreneurs make money and then try to be slick and write it all off as if they make no income. But they get mad when you go to the bank and get funding, but your W-2 and your W-9 show that you made no money. So let me give you some entrepreneurial game. Because we don't like paying the taxes, therefore we write everything off, and then we're not fundable businesses. You do not have to write all your income off and expense it all out. You can literally claim all your income as an entrepreneur, but take that cash flow and go buy real estate assets.